Excellent job. Excellent presentation. Really love your mission. Given the number of podcasts and competing um, interests that young people have, what specific marketing um, tools will you use to engage um, young people to listen and participate um, with your project? Social media, that will be our number one platform that we're using. So YouTube, um, Apple Music, Spotify, TikTok even are some of the major platforms that we will be using to push our podcast. Where do you plan on actually uh, recording your sessions? We are partners with Keys and Powers. So we are actually, um, we have an office there. So we would use that as the main source. But if that is unavailable, we would come up with something else. That would be something that we would have to think about. My question kind of piggybacks off of Stephanie's, just thinking about, you know, who your audience is and if it's only young people that you want to listen to this or are there other partners or adult liaisons and allies that you guys are, are looking to to get tapped in we want young people and older people to listen to us and like we'll that's why we'll be a partnership with keys and stuff because so we have like more like opportunities to like get more people to join us and listen to bounce off of what tim said our partnership with keys and we're also part with like partnered with like um next one up those organizations are more of the adult those will be our adult audiences and then the youthful audiences will come from ourselves so it should be a it will we hope that it's a good mix of the two what's the frequency that you expect of the podcast we will uh meet at our office and be pushing content if we can at least every week so that we have like different segments we have um different things planned out for different days so that we can interact with our audiences and get the most um, attraction that we can. 